Hello and welcome to MJ School of Mining and Geology's private tutoring YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring the bell for more videos like this. In today's lesson we are going to learn more about solid solution. The solid solution occurs as the result of ions substituting for one another in a crystal structure. The solid solution occurs at high temperatures where you are forcing the two end members to be in a solution. Therefore, in the unit cell, which is the building block of a crystal, substitution occurs in this crystal structure. A solid solution series is a compositional range between end member minerals that share the same basic chemical formula but experience the substitution of elements in one or more atomic sites. For example, a solid solution between albite and anorthite is shown in the diagram below. Other examples of solid solutions include iron and magnesium which can readily replace one another in a mineral. In some cases, the substitution can be complete and range from entirely one element to another element, resulting in end member mineral compositions. One example is olivine, which can vary from forsterite to phyolite. This is known as a complete solid solution. Such a mineral can also consist of any intermediate percentage of either end member. The compositional range between end member minerals that exhibit complete solid solutions is known as a solid solution series. Substitution occurs when an element in a mineral formula can be replaced by another of similar size and charge to make a new mineral. If the size of an ion is the same in charges, the substitutional solid solution can occur. This occurs when solute particles replace interstitial solid. But interstitial solid solution occurs when solute particles fit in spaces between the particles of host lattice. One, the size of the ions and the size of the crystallographic sites into which they substitute. Generally, ions of about the same size can substitute for one another. Although the size of the crystallographic site can also play a role if one of the ions is of nearly the same size but is too large to fit into the site. 2. The charges on the ions that are substituting for one another. If the charges are the same, then the crystal structure can remain electrically neutral. If the charges are not the same, then other substitutions must take place to maintain charge balance. 3. The temperature and pressure at which the substitution takes place. In general, there is a greater amount of substitution that takes place at higher temperature. This is because the atoms vibrate at a higher rate and the size of crystallographic sites are larger. Pressure can also have an effect because it can change the size of both the crystallographic sites and the ions, thus resulting in different substitutions than might take place at lower pressure.